Hello viewers, in today's class, let me teach the effect of temperature on the structure. For this class, that is to take Archer. If there is any temperature in the structure, the structure will expand or if there is any I mean, change, I mean in the decrease in the temperature, structure will shorten. Let us see what happens in case of Archer. For instance, let us take 3 hinged arch. 3 hinged arch will be like this. This is support A and support B. This is crown C. If there is any change in the temperature, the arch axis will elongate. As a result, the arch will become like this. That is when the arch will be, the crown will be shifted to this point and this point may be PC1. So the temperature change will end up in increase in the length of the arch as a result the crown will go up. So this change in the price may be accounted for the change in temperature. So this is the rise of the arch and this is change in rise. This change in rise may be given by L square plus 4 YC plus YC square by YC into alpha T where alpha is the position of thermal expansion and uh, T is the temperature change in temperature that is 4 YC. By substituting all the values we can find out the increase in Y in case of three hinged arches. Now let us take two hinged arches, let us see what happens if there is any change in temperature in case of two hinged arches. Two hinged arches will be like this, so this is one support and other, other support. There is any change in the temperature, the, there is no ground here, so it will not be allowed to move upward. Instead, the arch will start moving to this and then try to occupy a new position. This hinge will try to occupy a new position, but the hinge will not allow any displacement. So there will be an additional increase, additional increase in the horizontal interest here. Now we have to calculate the additional increase in horizontal interest due to the temperature stress developed due to temperature. So the increase in temperature will push the arch away. And to push this hinge away on the side direction. So the hinge helps to exert another additional thrust of value equal to H1. So this has the change in the increment or decrement. Suppose if there is any short of temperature, the arc will, I mean, short and as a result, the hinge will come here. Then in the, I mean, the other thrust will be applied here in this direction to maintain the position of V. So this increment or decrement in the horizontal thrust may be given by an expression L alpha T E I divided by integral y square d n. Sorry, L is the span of the arc, alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion, T is the temperature rise or decrease, and E is the flexural rigidity of the arc, and this is the I mean, the y square dn, where y is the equation of the parabola governing the arch profile. To study the change in temperature in case of 3 hinged arch, let us take an example. The example says like this a 3 hinged arch has a span of 20 meters and a central rise of 8 meters. The body of arch is fabricated using rolled C section. The coefficient of thermal expansion is given as 12 to 10 power minus 6 per degree centigrade. We have to find the central rise change in the central rise due to increase in temperature of 30 degree and due to drop in temperature of 30 degree So Two cases are given. One is the increase in temperature, other one is the drop in temperature. Due to the increase in temperature, the arch will start elongating it, that in turn the crown will go up. For this the crown will go up and due to the drop in temperature the arch will start shrinking so that the crown will go down. 
So all the data are given. So by the direct substitution of formula, we can find out the change in the central drive. It is also, you have to note one more thing, the arch is made up of rolled skin section. So there will be definitely a change in temperature, I mean a uh, change in the profile or configuration, not skin field structure. So let us get into the problem. By the I mean, uh, by directly substituting the values in the given expression. Let us write down the given data first. The first data is the width of the arch that is given to be 8 meter. The span of the arch is given as 24 meter. In the coefficient of thermal expansion is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree centigrade. We have to find a change in drive due to increase in temperature by 30 degree centigrade. Also, we have to find the change in drive due to drop in temperature of 20 degree centigrade. So, the formula for change in drive, change in drive is given by L plus L square plus 4YT square divided by 4YT into alpha. Substituting the values, given values in the formula, span of the arch is 24 square plus 4 into right of the arch is 8 square divided by 4 into right of the arch and coefficient of thermal expansion is 12 to 10 power minus 6 in temperature rise to 30 degrees. So solving this we will be getting the value as 9.36 millimeter. So this is rise in temperature so the arch will go up so it will just rise again up rise in the positive direction up. And change in rise due to drop in temperature in second case. So this is case 1, this is case 2. Substituting the value 24 square plus 4 into 4 into 8 square divided by 4 into 8 into 12 into 10 power minus 6. Drop in temperature is 20. Following this, we will be getting the value of 6.24 millimeter. So this is drop in temperature, so the rise will come down. So in the I mean rise will move in negative direction, so this is the rise is down. So new configuration of R, so this is the configuration, initial configuration. Due to the rise in temperature, the R will go up and this is found to be 9.36 mm. And due to, due to the second case, the R will go down. And this is found to be 6.24 So we have calculated the change in rise in case of three finger arches.